How's it going, everybody? Level M Diecast bringing you a haul video today. A little bit behind the schedule. It's been crazy uh, outside the world of Level M YouTube, uh, the AKA real world. Uh, but I do have a haul video for you. I've been waiting for this for a little bit. Uh, this did come in FedEx and it took like a bazillion years to get here because FedEx is just terrible these days. But Diecast Model Wholesale is where it came from. So you guys know it's going to be green light. It's going to be mini GT. I don't remember what else is in here, but it's definitely going to be those two things. So we're going to flip this guy over. We're going to get our trusty OSHA approved blade because my actual OSHA approved blade is in my A. So we're just going to chop this open the way that you're not supposed to do it. Pull the tape off the fragile tape. Get that out of the way. Pull the boxes back. You guys do know we get these nice packs. I'm gonna pull our packs out. Uh, I'm anticipating there's probably gonna be some box. There we go. It's gonna say because I do remember getting some cases of mini GT related items. Let me get all these packs out of here. I think there might be more stuff in here than I remember. Um, I thought there was only maybe 20 or so cars in here, but maybe there's a little bit more than that. Getting some space around the studio, sort of, kind of. Getting absolutely ridiculous. Okay, get the box out of here. Boom. Move our packs back. Always got to love real time. We do it real time on leveling. You guys know this. That's where the fun's at. This is not scripted. This is not polished up. This is... This is YouTube. This is a uh, raw YouTube. All right. All right. Try not to hit the camera anymore, guys. I do apologize for that. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and crack open our first pack we got here. 100% raw straight to you guys. Check out our first guy here. This is 67 Los Angeles Times Grand Prix. Riverside October. This is the Plymouth GTX Hemi Convertible. This is a hobby exclusive. This is a brand new release. Got your Golf Pennzoil on there. Looks pretty good. This is in like a bronze gold. Looking fantastic. Can't wait to crack this guy open. Looks pretty, pretty good. So there's going to be multiple stuff in here. So I do have a full series uh, 39 hot pursuit in here, and then I have select models from 40 um, because uh, it was cheaper to buy series 39 because I wanted almost all of them, but I only wanted some from series 40, so we're going to kind of look at these backwards. This is the 89 Chevy Caprice, San Diego County uh, Volunteer Sheriff, looking really, really good. Got that volunteer on the light bar, looking awesome, green and white. Can't wait to crack this guy up. This guy looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Looks like the push bar is a little, little wonky. But we'll check that out when we get him open. We'll check that out. Don't want to throw him under the bus just yet. Crack next one open. I believe this one will also be from Series 40. Get that out of there. Uh, this is the Durango in NYPD. This guy does not have the push bar. Uh, and, of course, there's no trailer hitch because... Really, why would there be? So pretty, pretty interesting to see the light bar on there. It's pretty, pretty, pretty legit. Um, this guy looks good. Yet another NYPD deco. So, but of course, it's it's a Durango. It's a Durango. So it's you know, we got to add that here at Level M. Got to add it up. Moving on to our next pack. Oh, here we go. Okay, check this beauty out. I knew there was some in here that wasn't Mini GT or Greenlight. Uh, this is Tarmac Works. This is the Bagani Waira BC. Oh, man, this thing looks wicked. So wicked. Um, like, I, you know, when I unboxed the Zonda previously, this blister pack deal is total garbage. The box is garbage, but they more than make up with it with this fantastic model. We're definitely going to crack that guy open for sure. For sure. Uh, we got one more in this little pack right here. Get the bubble wrap out of there. 
Uh, this is the S10 that I missed from the last anniversary set. 100th anniversary um, for Chevy trucks, but this was in the last anniversary release for green light the blue s10 so i now have this guy 88 so definitely collecting all the s10s and the sonomas and stuff trying to make sure i get them all get them all grab another pack here just gonna keep rolling there we go boom another hobby exclusive this is the 68 Los Angeles Times Grand Prix. This is the 69 Plymouth Roadrunner hardtop. Oh, man, looking so good in that Hemi orange. Got uh, black on the hood. Guy's looking super awesome. Can't wait to crack that guy open. It's going to be sweet. You know, I'm all about them Mopars. All right. I believe this is the last one from Series 40. This is the 2017 Ram 1500. This is Milford, Michigan. I do collect all the Rams. This guy does have a bed cover. Pretty sweet. Um, we have not seen these wheels on the Ram for a while. Um, they did use these wheels on the off-road versions of the Rams, like the all-terrain versions and stuff. So we have not seen that wheel for a long time. Also has the light bar in the front bumper. So this model is looking super, super fresh. Oh, man, love the chevrons on the back, too. And I can't wait to crack that guy open. That's going to be a pretty nice, pretty nice version. Pretty nice version. Got another smaller pack here, and then we'll get to the bigger pack, and then we'll do these boxes last. The boxes are just easier. Bam! Golf. It's always golf. Uh, this is the latest hobby release for the uh, for Transit in golf. Uh, this actually showed up on their website the day I put this order in. I barely got this guy squeaked in there. Absolutely love the transit vans. I love the route runners, all that stuff. And this guy looks okay in golf. This doesn't look all that great. Uh, wheels, maybe something different. But I'm going to crack that guy open. He's a heavyweight because he's all metal. This is a really, really nice one. This is the 84 GMC S15. This is the Indianapolis 500 pace truck. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at the body kit on it. Look at the wheels. Oh, my God. This thing is wicked. Oh, man. I can't wait to crack this open. It's got a white bed cover on the back. Man, this is definitely going to be the best of all this era of uh, tr pickup trucks for sure. Man, I can't wait to crack that open. That's going to be so sweet. So sweet. All right. We're going to get to the bigger packs. Uh, these do collect or do contain some Mini GT. And it's slice and dice. Um, I did get the uh, Kaido House. Uh, this is the mint one. This is the uh, newest uh, release from this particular casting. They do have the... Um, the uh, what you gonna call it coming? The um, I forget what. It, oh, the uh, the wagon, the wagon. So I'm just gonna let's see if I can get this guy open real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot. Got to be smarter than the box. There's some just a little bit of some safety tape seals there. There we go. Get those done up. It's the only thing I don't like about this box design. It's like next to impossible to get this thing open. There we go. Gonna slid out. Part one, part two, part 17. This is a brand new Deco. This guy also has different wheels. This is a really nice version. This might be better than the, uh, look at the detail under the hood. I think this is going to be, I think this is the best version thus far. What do you guys think? This guy's pretty wicked. I like this version though. I like this version. I think this is, you know what? In my opinion, that's the best um, of the two doors released. Except, except if you were one of those super lucky people that got the, uh, the black version. Because that, that version is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, I'll get him back in the box. 
maybe there we go to basically never ever come out again uh, another mini gt this is the year of the tiger uh chinese new year tiger on there 2022 this is the land rover pickup this is number 330 so limited edition one of like eight bazillion They're making 8888 of these and this is one of the most expensive mini gts you can grab right now it's ridiculous things like 25 30 bucks ridiculous but we're gonna crack that guy open at some point in time this is pretty exciting this is the newest hd trucks this is the first time we've seen the 73 winnebago chieftain in a very long time uh they use this extensively for breaking bad stuff like that uh this guy looks fantastic in fire deco got some juliet on there looks really really good can't wait to crack this guy open Got a light bar on the top. This is a pretty interesting deco for this guy, but we're going to check him out. Check him out. Don't you worry if you were questioning or not what's in the other pack. Yes, it is the whole rest of that series of HD trucks. This is the 2019 Step Van uh, in NYPD because, of course, of course, in this series 22, in case you guys were curious, um, they do so much NYPD, but this guy looks good. I like him. Looks pretty good. It's an auxiliary unit. So it does have light bar on the top. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. But I think what most people are going to be excited about, and at least what I'm most excited about, is this guy. And not because of these, but because of those. This is the... 2013 International Durastar flatbed with commercial dumpsters in waste management deco. Fantastic. Man, this is such a good thing. It's even got waste management on the uh, dumpsters. And I'm telling you right now, guys, I am going to be thoroughly, thoroughly disappointed if these don't fit the front load garbage truck. I am going to be unbelievably, irately, absurdly upset. Um, they do look big enough. But I don't think they're going to fit. So when we crack this guy open, which is probably going to be a first video I do from this hole, we're going to check that out because I'm really, really excited to find that out. So we're going to check that out. All right, we're going to move on to the box. Is two boxes. They even wrapped the box in bubble wrap, which, well, you know, it's, it's definitely overkill. Uh, so this will tell you right there. This is Hot Pursuit Series 39. Full set of six. This has some very awesome decos in here. Some pretty cool castings. Uh, nothing new, but uh, new decos for sure. So we're going to pull these guys out. Let's pull the first one. Uh, this is one of the best decos. This is a Skid Training 1987 Chevrolet Caprice from Ontario, Canada. So what they use to train to do pit maneuvers. Absolutely fantastic. Can't wait. Looks so good. Got the black steelies on there. Next one we got in here. This is one that I will not crack open. This is one I don't collect. Uh, this is the 82 Ford Mustang SSP in Arizona uh, Department Deco. Public safety. So it's a good casting, but definitely not one that I deal with. So... Another awesome one, one that I do collect, 2018 Nissan Titan XD Pro 4X, Oceanside, California. It does have light bar on the top. Looking pretty good. It has a tow hitch on it, which is pretty nice. I wish he had a push guard on the front. You know, it is cop, but no push guard on the front, but this looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Next guy in here, this is a pretty cool addition to Hot Pursuit. This is the Gladiator Pursuit, a.k.a. Jeep Law got jeep law deco on it this is not any uh particular uh it's not a department or anything this is from jeep does have a bed cover on it though very exciting that's a new uh addition to the uh gladiator so as you can see there's a rubber band on there so it comes off so we're gonna check that guy out it's got the rubicon wheels on there looks super super good hopefully the top comes off as well and check that guy out another casting i collect for sure uh this is a casting i do not collect 
Uh, this is a Dearborn, Michigan test and evaluation. Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor for Ford Motor Company. So they're really pulling out some really awesome decos. Getting into this hopper suit, looking so good. I mean, they're all the way up to Series 40. Uh, you guys saw a couple of those from the other uh, hauls I just picked up just a second ago. So 40 series of six cars. It's just insane. It's insane. The hopper suit's still going strong. Still going real strong. Uh, and then the very last one in this particular mix. Um, yes, awesome. Dodge Diplomat, 1988. This is in... Uh, CHP Highway Patrol, so awesome! Oh man, just just perfect, just perfect, so good. Looks amazing. Those amazing steelies on it, oh, man. This casting is just phenomenal, phenomenal. I absolutely am just in love with this casting. Definitely one of my favorite green light castings for sure. It's just so good, so good. All right, we're gonna move on to the last and final box. We just roll through. This is going to be a first or a full release as well. This is 164 Vintage Ad Car Series 5. Um, I believe there's actually only one car in this entire mix that I don't collect or don't have anything to do with. Um, and just a little tidbit, guys. A lot of this stuff, the regular release stuff like this and Hot Pursuit Series 39, those are actually showing up at Hobby Lobby. So um, if you're looking to find them in the wild, you probably will get lucky. Uh, taking a look at the first one, this is fitting because this is the one that I don't collect. Uh, this is the 80 Chevy El Camino. Looking pretty good. Got your Chevy Trucks ad on there. And then it's got that Screaming Eagle on the top. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. It's a really good casting. Uh, just one that I don't I don't swing with. I don't, don't do. It's pretty nice though. Moving through. Look at this. 1945 Willys MB Jeep in tan with some red deco on the wheels. Brown interior. Just super regular. Just super regular. Looks so good. So good. Man, can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, another one. Fantastic. 83 Chevy S10 Maxi Cab, which is hilarious because all the castings are this cab, but that's hilarious. Uh, looks really good. Black and red two-tone, red interior. Says Chevrolet on the back, no tow hitch. Such a good casting, such a good casting. Those awesome wheels. Definitely going to crack that guy open. Um, we have not seen the Mini Cooper since Hot Hatches Series 1. Uh, I, I take that back. We did see the uh, Mini Cooper in the uh, Garbage Pail Kids release, but we're back to just regular decos. Look at those teeny, teeny, tiny wheels. Those things are so tiny. 67 Morris Mini Cooper S. Light blue with white interior, white top, uh, right-hand drive. This casting is tiny. It's tiny. Like, I could probably put this in the bed of the Ram or the Nissan truck. It's crazy. It's crazy. Getting down to the last two. This is unbelievably amazing. 84 Jeep Cherokee in the most amazing deco ever this black and red you got cherokee chief on the side those amazing jeep wheels oh, man this is definitely got the black on the hood man i am just stoked this is definitely the best version of them all thus far in my opinion i haven't even cracked it open yet look at that look at that look how good that looks you got the fog lights and everything up in there Man, I'm telling you guys, ridiculous. And then here's the very last one in the mix. This is definitely one that is pertaining to nowadays collector realm. This is a 72 Datsun 510 two-door in just average, regular, toned down, plain Jane, nothing fancy, just red. Just red. No, no fancy, no nothing, no crazy trim levels, no nothing. Just base, base stock. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Looks so good. So good. Can't wait to crack this guy open. Looks amazing. Amazing as always. Because all the green light stuff looks amazing. So that's going to conclude this particular haul. So we got a full set of vintage ad cars. 
Got all those guys up there. We do have a full set of Hot Pursuit Series 39, which is very, very nice. We have uh, select models from Series 40, just the castings that I collect. Um, and just real quick, guys, just in case you were curious, the ones I don't collect in Series 40. You got the 74 Jeep. I don't do that one. The Caprice is the one that I got. F-250, I don't do. GTR, I don't do. But it is in Stockholm, Sweden, Deco. I think if maybe I find one, I might get it, change my mind. And then, of course, you guys saw the Ram and the Durango. But I think just because it's a foreign Deco for the um, GTR, might have to do it. Got a couple of awesome, awesome Plymouths for Hot Pursuit. Or, I'm sorry, for... Uh, Hobby exclusives. Can't even put everything on the screen. We got golfs. We got Indianapolis. We got all kinds of crazy stuff. Just load them up. Load them up. HD Truck Series 22. And of course, don't be sleeping on it. Tarmac, Pagani, Wyra. Super stoked for that guy. So there we go. That is the haul. Guys, check it out. I'm going to uncrack this stuff up. Super behind. I'm super behind in my videos, but we're going to get caught up. We're going to get caught up. So expect to see all this stuff on the channel in the next week or so. Uh, hopefully less time than that. But I appreciate every one of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We're rolling. You guys are awesome. Keep coming back. Keep watching the videos. Don't forget to comment. I do read every single comment. So don't forget to do that. And we're going to say, Level and Diecast. Peace!